Hi everyone, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Natasha Salifianji Kaoma and I am the Chief Executive Officer of Copper Rose Zambia. The government of the Republic of Zambia must invest in period poverty because of the statistics. The statistics tell it all. So for example, the Zambian population has 18 million people. Of that 18 million, 51% are women, which means that 51% of the population, more than half, either have menstruated, are menstruating right now, or will menstruate at some point of their lives. The cost of pads right now in Zambia is about anything from 20 kwacha to 50 kwacha. But when you look at how much money Zambians are earning, more than 58% of the population is living below $1.9, which is the recommended World Bank poverty line, are living below that poverty line, which means that already a huge part of the population cannot afford period products. I would also like to say that this should not only be left to the government of the Republic of Zambia, but other stakeholders also need to come into play in order to alleviate the effects of period poverty in the country. According to the Ministry of Education, uh, in the 2016 bulletin, it was reported that only about 45.8% of schools are receiving menstrual health education. When we think about menstrual health management, we often like to think of only PADS, but it starts from simple things like education. Less than half of the schools are receiving menstrual hygiene management education. Bringing it to the products, according to the same bulletin, only about 24% of the schools were receiving PADS. The importance of providing parts to girls in schools is that it allows them to come to school without having to second guess and think about whether they are going to mess themselves up and giving them the opportunity to fully concentrate on their education. Often when people think about period poverty and menstrual health management, they only think pads or tampons. But I'd like to bring a controversial opinion. What about underwear? Have we thought about underwear? Have we thought about other methods of supporting girls during their periods? There is the issue of underwear. There is also the issue of pain because pain management is a very big problem and sometimes that's one of the biggest reasons why girls are not attending schools. So schools need to be equipped with all the resources that are required in order for them to provide an environment where girls can feel safe and can want to attend. There is need to provide these free of charge because the government is already providing other health services free of charge. We have free condoms, we have many other health services that are free. So because menstrual hygiene is a health issue, we should think about making it free. Copper Rose Zambia is one of the pioneers of menstrual health management work in Zambia. We have been distributing sanitary napkins across the country and as at today, which is 2021 April, we have distributed more than 100,000 sanitary napkins across the country. So already we are a force to reckon with when it comes to menstrual health management. As an organization, we have been working with other organizations to improve their capacity and ability to deal with menstrual hygiene management. From the way we see it, Menstruation is usually the beginning of sexual activity. It shouldn't be in some instances, but sometimes it is. And so that is a very good opportunity to discuss sexual and reproductive health subjects as well. So we are mainstreaming menstrual health management into other programming so that it can be part of the reproductive health package that organizations are providing. And lastly, as an institution, we are working on dealing with the water and sanitation situations in schools because often that may be a challenge. We have been to schools before where we find that the school has no proper toilet. So the problem is not the pads or the pain, but the problem is that there is no toilet, there is no water, and the sanitation facilities are in a deplorable state. And so as an institution, we're working towards renovating some of these spaces, as well as drumming up support for good quality um, water and sanitation facilities in schools. And lastly, we are working on advocacy with governments, with other institutions, to ensure that governments are thinking about providing and meeting some of the pledges that they have made uh, in parliament or in the budget, and we want to see this in real time. We are also thinking about tax, because 
taxes are quite high on menstrual health products. But often people think of taxes in terms of tax on the pad. But have we thought about tax on the industry making the pad? Because just a few weeks ago, I was meeting with one of these um, pad making companies and they explained to me that the total tax that is covered on one pad after it's produced in Zambia is higher than what they would pay if they just imported it already made. So when we think about menstrual hygiene products and taxes, there are so many aspects of it and we would like to dig deep into these issues and bring them forward for government action. It's time for action. It's your right. Let's end menstrual poverty.